Hello, I'm Alfred from Singapore. Today's International Attacker Awareness Day. So I thought I'll make this video for you guys and myself. Cause um, basically speaking, I'm with a group from Swiss speech therapy as well. So okay, what is attacker? Ataxia is a neurological disorder in which motor skills such as walking, talking, writing are affected. It causes the patient to like appear to be under influence of alcohol. Example like slurred speech, stumbling, falling, in coordination of movement and lack of balance in his or her actions. Blah 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 blah. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. Okay, let me tell you why I feel that. What I feel a texture is not. A texture is not my friend, not my family, nor someone I even remotely care about. So, why do you? Why does he think that I will obey what he wants me to do? So if you ask me to go left, I'll go right. If you ask me to sit down, I'll purposely stand up. Maybe because I'm too stubborn. Okay, uh, so my story. So about 20 years ago, I started having this sort of um, trembling in my hands and uh, my hands. Uh, so when I like buy a plate of food, then I maybe for a bowl of soup or a cup of drinks, I bring the tray and walk back to my table, put it down. Half of the uh, soup or the drink would have spilled onto a tray. Then I was walking like, um, okay, you know, normal people walk like something like this, left, right, left, right. So my, my feet were more apart and my toes were pointing outwards, so I walked like that. So I wandered like a duck or a penguin. Yeah. Okay, so my parents brought me to see our family doctor. Uh, cause he was no specialist in this field. So there was quite a lot of ding dong here and back and forth. And yeah, after quite some time, he referred me to a neurologist. And the neurologist diagnosed me with sporadic spinal cerebellar texture uh, and he told me that I have five to eight years more of mobility left in me so that time I was really devastated because I was only barely, I was only 20 plus. My adult life barely even started and it has already began to end. So, <sighs> I couldn't take it. Uh, for, I mean, for one whole year, I was cooped up in my, I was cooped up in my room. I cooped myself up in my room. 24 or 7 for an entire year. So that was the darkest part of my life. Okay, never mind. Moving on, uh, let's go into recent time, like this year or specifically 8 months ago when I decided to, when I got a place a flat for myself because I wanted to have my own family so I bought this um, 
small old little flat because it's all they all they I can afford. So before moving, we have to do some basic renovation. So you know, uh, uh, okay. So three days before the renovation started, the contractor gave me a call and he said, Alfred, uh, we will need to charge you additional three fifty to hack away the uh, skirting at the base of the wall, which I think was totally absurd. I was okay. I was pissed. Peace, not only with them, but with me as well. Cause at the point in time, I really don't have three fifty with me. Maybe if you ask me thirty five dollars. Prob maybe I can dig it out somewhere and somehow, but three fifty is beyond me at the point of time. So I told the contractor, it's okay, never mind, you can leave it. So after we put down the phone, I thought to myself, it still has to be done. By who I, by who or by crew, I must get it done. Because uh, the old skirting wouldn't fit in the uh, decor or the color scheme of my new place so off I went to the hardware store I bought myself a chisel and a hammer then came back and started to do the chiseling myself so you probably have to guess the lack of precision and coordination in my hands like more than half of the hammer blow slender on my thumb and my index finger so after like not even an hour my whole my my hand was covered in bruises blue and black so I gave up then I went back to my old residence then the next day I came back, then I look at the uh, half done skirting. No, not half done, nah. maybe one third or one quarter. Then I look my, at my hand, uh, what I thought was my hand. Uh, basically, it has fallen out to be like one and a half times its normal size. It was more like a pig trotter. So, uh, I first want to give up. So I just sat down and think about it. Think about the family I was trying to create. So I thought, ah, I just got to get it done. So imagine this, the uh, chisel. So I just put it in my hands like this, then I took up my shirt and then I wrap my shirt around the uh, chisel in my hand. Cause my hand was so numb from the hammering that I can barely move my fingers. So with just the chisel protruding, I just continue, just continue to just whack it. So after a few hours, I actually completed the work. I was pretty proud of myself. I actually did something which I thought I couldn't do. Uh, maybe it was the adrenaline or was just feeling too happy because I didn't quite feel my, my, my hand, the pain in my hand. So, okay, that night when I went back to my old residence, 
and soak my hand in ice, ice water. So I got the time to sit, sit down and think about it. And then I was thinking, um, if I can do this, doesn't mean that probably I can do it. I can even do more. So if I can do more, wouldn't it also mean that I have wasted 15 years of my life? A good 15 years of my life just blindly believing when others say that I cannot do it, so I don't even try to attempt to do it. And that's 15 golden years of my life that isn't going to come back. Okay, so after that, I went online to look for like um, any articles or write up on this sort of um, things. Yeah, so okay, not too long ago, I came across something on the NAF YouTube channel which does say that, um, does say that exercise is beneficial for both acquired and progressive, progressive degenerative types of attention. Just imagine what I can do if I have the, if the information was available to me like 15 years ago. I would have done so much more. But, oh well, uh, better, better late than never, better late than never. So, okay, if you only believe what you, you see with your own eyes, let me show you something, okay, it's something that I've been practicing on. Maybe it looks pretty juvenile. And I'm not very good at it yet, uh, but it was certainly pretty tough and challenging. Um, if you put into consideration my lack of coordination and balance. So, uh, give me a second, let me get something to show you. This video isn't about me walking and carrying something. Uh. Alright, here it is. Okay, that's it. Um, so, okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, it's nothing very fantastic. Uh, but it wasn't easy at all for me. So, um, if you're asking how, how is it for me, or how difficult it was, let me just say that me and my floor got very, very, very much more acquainted during this time of practice. 
So I'm not trying to make fun of anyone or any fellow addictions by saying <sighs> sorry yeah uh, is <sighs> okay I'm not trying to make fun of any fellow addictions that I'm better than you but I'm just trying to spark the hope that probably you also can do something not exactly like this but everyone got the potential to be one percent better than what they are right now mm, yeah that's my message to you guys <sighs>